so just a quick update video of where we're up to we pulled off all the front guards and bonnet bonnet yeah bull bar bull bar yep we've stacked it all over here because we're going to get it powder coated the bull bar uh rear bar rear bar i've got to build yet yeah, um oh yeah the yeah, tow so, bar, yeah. yeah tow bar um <clears throat> yeah that got all pulled off all the we did oh, forget to film yeah we forgot to film all of that so. and see update right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> um pull the fuel tank out as well yep um turns out this was a diesel yep because it had no engine when we bought it so we didn't know what it was um what else um yeah just mainly the front end stuff headlights um grill all that yep. sort of just we're just Started. getting everything out of the way we started um, pulling all the wires out. Yeah, the wiring looms out. We just got to put them around this a bit. Um, just because I've got to fix a couple of bits of rust um, and then I can start sanding. Welcome it. back. This is, um, what are we at? Only episode two on, on Project Baverick. So the idea today, which is probably just a short one. As you can see, Ryan's just pulling all the wiring off the engine bay because I'm going to start getting in here and prepping it ready for a repaint. Um, Obviously, we're not anywhere near repainter yet, but we're just going to start pulling everything away from the from the body and seeing where any rust is and stuff. And obviously, I've still got to cut off the engine mounts, um, ready for our new Barra mount kit that's coming. Um, I'm also going to start while Ryan's doing that. I'm just going to start prepping the body just for some other love. We've got some rust and stuff, and I'm just going to take out all this bog and just see how bad it is, so I can start working on what I'm going to do to pop all that out um, we're considering doing a quarter chop for our rear bar because obviously we're going to be doing skids and stuff at the burnout comps and we want to have a bit of art like we don't want to damage our quarters by wall tapping so if we've got a bit of um, bar work we can sort of protect our quarter panels with it'll be good um, but yeah so we've got a bit of bog in there you can see just how much bog they've actually put in it well, that is like half an inch of bog um, and also a little ding just in this side too. We've got to try and straighten out um, But yeah, that's pretty much all we're gonna get done today. It's sort of getting a bit late in the day anyways So we just thought we'd stuff around on it for a bit um, But yeah, we'll show you where we get up to anyway There's a uh, All the bog is cut out of it here yeah. Is that a rough time? Mm. It's not terrible, but holy jolly gonna have a little bit of bog go back into it that's for sure yeah. not that much but yeah some of these are just like without cutting it. some of that quarter out I don't I can't fix that I don't reckon yeah I reckon we should have just bogged straight back over the old stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah that should be right we'll get it half better. yeah at least half of that again better now um, because obviously there's they've tried to weld some of this so we'll just tap some of this back in and pretty it up Definitely do a quarter chop. Mm. <laughs> that takes about half our issue. And uh, yeah. Sounds good to me. All right, cool. We're out here working on fabric. So at the moment, we're just trying to take all the wiring looms and just get everything out of the way, uh, take clips off uh, so we can paint it. Mm. Sort of, what did you say, Scott? Scotch yeah, we'll scotch bright it and sands like there's a few little bits I've got to clean up some rust, just cut out and put some plate in. And uh, yeah, and then just give her a, a quick sand down. It doesn't have to be anything special, we just want some fresh paint in there when we put the um, the new green top barrel we've just bought for it. So, um, I've still got before we paint it too, I'd like to have to cut engine mounts off and stuff yet. But, um, <coughs> but yeah, I just thought we'll get everything out of the way so I'm not accidentally cutting things or whatever when I'm grinding or <laughs> welding on stuff. So. So we um, uh, yeah, got a, a green top barrel for 200 bucks, which is mm, pretty sick. pretty cheap. Failed its compression test, that's why it's so cheap. But that's fine, because we're yeah. gonna pull half of it apart anyway to put our valve springs, 12 mil head starts. What else is going into oil it? Build, pump build an oil pump. Um, uh, the timing chain kit, gotta do that. Um, and a new head gasket, so. Yeah, so we're, we're hoping it's a head gasket, which will which will be replaced anyway when we pull it all apart yep. for the necessary upgrades. But even if it's not, you know, if it's like a cracked cylinder or a so, uh, cracked um, piston, yeah, we'll just 
I think we might just be valves. Yeah. Like a bent valve or something stupid. So, but yeah, they just, yeah, they don't deal with that crap. So they just sell stuff as it is. And uh, yeah, we got it for a steal. And hopefully it's only, yeah, very small issue. Yep. But either way, it'll make, it'll be, it'll, um, yeah, it'd be good to mock up the engine anyway. So, uh, and they also might have a box for us too. So we wanted to put a TV48 box in it. They, we hear they're, the pick of the bunch a bit stronger so and we're hoping to make about 600 at the flywheel so that yeah the stronger that everything is the better mm. um but yeah we're just in the prettying up thing stage really we yeah. um got everything out of it and whatnot so once the motor gets here we'll order a mount kit yep which is only 500 bucks for yeah the uh, motor good. mounts or yep. the yeah engine, the mount, the yeah engine mounts yep engine mounts uh Alternator relocation brackets, power steering relocation brackets, um, foot pedal, the accelerator pedal bracket for our um, drive-by-wire Falcon pedal that we've got to put in it. Um, yeah, it comes with heaps of little goodies, so. Um, hey, Puffy, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's a, it's a good deal for what it is, so. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to getting all these cool new things in the mail. Yeah. So, I think the turbo will be the next thing to be ordered pretty quickly. <laughs> Some inspiration to keep going. <laughs> you reckon we put it on one of the Tritons just for now and see <laughs> yeah. how it runs? Yeah, GT45 is small for a Triton, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be bloody small for a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, yeah, so we've got a, got a little bit to do up this front end. Um, we have actually, we can probably show them some of the other stuff. Don't worry, So we've just got what them. the? There's kids. Where did these come what from? What are you doing? Don't pick us the nose. Are you oh, doing? you're buckling him in, are you? Oh, safety first. Yeah. Yeah, so I found this little rust hole. I've just got to put a little patch over that. Um, Which, do you reckon that would have been from where they mounted the rack? Or? Yeah, yeah, you can see the, where they've got the three. So obviously they're not ideal for that sort of thing. But um, I started buffing this back because as you can see, they're a bit rough on the old welding. but. Um, I started, like, ours, like ours is going to be any better. <laughs> mate, they've seen how good I weld. I can weld anything, so. Yeah. But yeah, I started, but um, yeah, the battery went flat in my grinder, so that was the end of that. But I grinded all this off too. Um, so I don't know if it, the camera shows it very well, but this is very... Oh, yeah, just about it. Yeah, shadow, That's yep. Um, yeah, so you can see how much bog, bog and crap was in it. Yeah, All this was around. built up like yeah. an inch. So yeah, so there's a bit of work in this. I don't know if I'm if we're just gonna cut this piece out and try and find a donor car that we can cut that piece out of. Or I'll just fudge it around with it for a while and um yeah, just slowly pull it out and then bog it as well. Like it's gonna get bog anyway regardless, but just hopefully a lot less than what they had in it. Mm. So um, yeah, so that was we just really did that just because I wanted to see how bad it actually was. So, but um, I gave this a buff so I could see how bad it was. It's not terrible. Um, little plate over that. It's, it doesn't go penetrate too far. Um, so we'll just put some um, rust converter in there. Um, there's a couple of bubbles and stuff, but I've given them a little buzz off so they're they're only just surface stuff. Um, and yeah, obviously where the rack mount on this side, it's nothing, nothing terrible under it. So it was just. Um, yeah, just all surface rust, so I just wanted to give it a quick buzz and see what was in it. Um, but yeah, other than that, we didn't really achieve much on it today, but it was good to just get yeah, a start. Just little bits at the time, what we've done half an hour on it or something. Yeah, yeah, we had a yeah, pretty flat out day anyway, so. Well, this is what our third video for today. today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we're pumping them yeah. today. So. Mud grab, uh, catch, clean, cook. Yeah, diff breathers. Diff breathers and then yeah. a bit of, bit of baby. Yeah, but by the time you you would have seen that this video won't come out till after our Cape trip. So. Yeah, this is two months in the future, sort yeah. of. Yeah, future us. Yeah. So you will see the crab video before you see any of this in the diff breather video. So yeah. they're killer too. So worth the watch. If you haven't seen them, go back watch them. Yeah, we'll plus, link. Uh, plus all the other videos we've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put a link in the. Top. You'll see it somewhere above me. <laughs> or, or, What's that? <laughs> yeah. What's that over there? Oh, there it is. Oh. Right there, yeah. Hey, Daddy. Uh, Hello, yeah. Daddy. That's, uh, 
<laughs> Look at you, your frizzy hair. <laughs> oh, I, don't I don't know who's more excited Which... about this car, us or them. Yeah, they love this cow. Hey. Do you love Baverick? Yeah. It's pretty yeah. cool, eh? What type of car is I it? Um, I, love, I love this car. Daddy. Yeah. What sort of car is it, Hunter? Battery. Battery. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Watch so well, I think we'll pull her up there. That's about all we, all we can show you. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoy it. And um, sorry about that. Can't take her anyway. Apologies. But uh, yeah, we'll um, see you on the next one. Yeah, don't forget to stay chunky. I would wobble my gut around, but I'm wearing my my new shirt and I don't want to touch it with dirty hands. Can you wobble my gut? Yeah. Stay chunky. <laughs> Click the bell. <laughs> oh, I gotta be waiting for it, mate. We've got to be ready for it. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Ryan here from Chunky Travelers. Um, just heading over to Rock Lee to a place called uh, Wholesale Auto Parts, I think it's called. Uh, we're going to be buying a Barra engine for our uh, burnout car, our Maverick. Um, so yeah, just just me by myself today. Um, Luke's back in Gladstone, and I'm all the way down, yeah, down here in Brisbane. So yeah, we're going to be grabbing the Barra and also a few different parts for a Cape trip. Like, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, some. Uh, CVs, um, some, uh, alternators, um, I think that was it, CVs, alternators, yeah, so heading over there now, and I'll show you when I get there. There it is, our new green top. Yeah, got it for a steal too, it was only, um, 200 bucks so yeah hopefully hopefully it goes all right just gonna do the usual stuff to make it quick just your head studs valve springs oil pump gears uh what else yeah all those all those bits and a turbo and a turbo so shout out to our wholesale car parts plus at rock lee good cheap Good cheap stuff. And then yeah, so we got alternator and our CVs for our cape trip. So hopefully all goes well. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're attempting to lift the engine out. Because Luke didn't bring his engine hoist over here. So we're just gonna use my winch in the front of the ute and just uh yeah winch it off oh. <laughs> that's be good all right surely nothing bad could happen oh not a chance anything bad's gonna happen <clears throat> all right we're coming That should hopefully be it, eh? How's the ingenuity here? Obviously, if um, if this pulls the shed down, <laughs> you won't see this. <laughs> We don't know what happened. Do you want to take a bit of slack? Slack, okay, in. All right. All right, what do you need now? Well, we need a strap, but just... We should probably take these straps off, though. Yeah, definitely.
have lifted motors on straps before, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. Here we go. I might have to get one of the girls to film this actually, so I can help you well, with, with the wireless remote. Yeah, I know, but so I can sort of help you. And I've only got I've only got two hands, and I'm holding a camera and a remote. Right, so I'll go get one of the girls. I'll be back. No, 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 I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh my goodness, that's really good. All right, Sarah's coming down. We'll get out of film. We're just going nice and slow. How much does this weigh? 270 kilo? Oh, I think it's more like 250. 250? Well, should we quickly hang off of that beam and then if it doesn't fall <laughs> off? Here, can you please oh, film so this? quits for tonight yeah it's um yeah it's been a big day so we just yeah got the engine off <laughs> didn't use the frame of the shed in the end <laughs> yeah because it was bending twisting so we're like nah we better not so yeah it was worth a shot manhandled it yeah use the winch to just 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 <laughs> use the winch to support it yeah yeah you're officially updated. Yes. 